Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I would show you um, what I've been making with the origami bodice that we had in, a, in one of our, my previous tutorials. Um, I've made it into a dress and then I've popped it onto a canvas. Now this canvas is just a recycled canvas that I've had. Um, I've backed it with some of the cherry blossom paper um, and some of my butterflies and I made some little um, fabric flowers there. These ones, these little roses are ones that are pre-bought. I've got a little bit of um, pearl trim, not trim, sort of like on a wire and some more, another little butterfly there and some seam binding on here and I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you how I've sort of like put it together because I know a lot of you have asked me what you can do with um, some of the origami stuff. So this one I did make um, out of fabric. It's very, very similar to the last one, um, but I didn't do all the bits on the back because um, you don't really see it. So I just made it a little bit simpler um, and I think it's lovely. It's got two layers. It's got some tool over the top. And then underneath, I don't know whether you can see here, all that I've done, I've just dyed some um, cheesecloth here on there and I've just got two layers and I've just popped it over the top. Now what I used to dye the cheesecloth is the Distress Oxide, this is seedless, seedless Preserves and then the Antique Linen. So I've just mixed those two together, uh, <coughs> excuse me, added some water, made it like a big puddle and then just soaked the um, cheesecloth in it. And I also soaked some um, of the seam binding in it so it's got the same colour tones to it. So I thought it was really pretty. So I thought I would show you today how it's sort of like, how easy it is to put together. Um, I'm going to pop that one to the side. Now this is a recycled canvas that I had. It's just a basic canvas. It's only, it's not very big this one. This is going to be a smaller one. This is seven inches, which is 18 centimeters by um what's that nine and a half which is 24 centimeters now i'm going to just move the camera in a little bit more just a little bit just like that so you can see a little bit better so all as i've done i've covered the canvas with a little bit of paper what you would what i normally do with when i do my mixed media covered it with some gesso um which you can sort of like see here just a bit of blobbed on gesso over the top and then i've just used some acrylic paint painted it around the outside we don't use to that because we're going to cover it up and then i just wiped it off so it sort of like makes it look really distressed so i thought that looked really nice and then i've got this piece of paper which i've already got ready already got ready um which is again with the cherry blossom paper and all as I've done, because it wasn't quite long enough, because I printed it on the A4, what I've had to do, I've had to sort of like pop some little bits in the bottom. So I've just added some with some masking tape on the back there. And then I've just inked around the edges, got a pair of my scissors, and I've just distressed it like that. But again, you can use a distress tool if you've got one. And I've just inked it again like that. So that's as easy peasy as that. And then that just sticks on. I'm going to just stick that on like that. On this one, I did actually tear this and pop this in. But because this is a smaller canvas um, and the dress is the same size, um, there wasn't really enough room to do that. Um, and I wanted to keep this them quite plain so you got the, you can see the dress really well. Now, okay, so this is the dress that I made similar again I've made the bodice out of the same fabric um, and on the back I've just folded these bits in no point in doing all the other fancy bits because you don't see it anyway and they open up in the middle and then I just popped this the length of this piece of cheese cloth. let me see if I can measure it give you a rough idea six twelve probably about 18 cent 18 inches long okay 18 inches by probably seven 
okay and the bodice was made out of a five by five square of fabric so then I've just gathered it all up like that sewed it all up like that so it's all wrinkled and then popped it up in between the, you know, the bodice like that just stuck it in so it looks like a lovely lovely little dress or skirt and then added some of the seam binding on there and then I've just added one of the little seam binding roses okay and this one I wanted it to sort of like come off I'm going to pop this one so it's sort of in the middle I haven't put straps on this one either but I wanted it to sort of come off the canvas like that um, so it hangs off so it looks a little bit different so what I'm going to do first I'm just going to stick this on I'm going to stick it on with some um, the gel matte medium so I'm just going to take a big blotch like this and stick it on I think this is the best sort of stuff but obviously use whatever you've got but make sure you stick it on properly because you've got the, gr the dress that's going on and you don't want it to come off so stick this down like that a little bit more here That and stick it on again you don't have to use paper over the top um, you can just paint the canvas if you like I love the I love this paper and I think these cherry blossoms go really well with it and I think this would make a beautiful christening um, present or a wedding present I think they are just so so pretty now let me make sure I'm in shot maybe I'll just come out just a just so you can see so don't miss anything I'm going to add just a little bit more there now again you can pop some cheesecloth behind it so it looks a bit raggedy around the outsides I think that looks okay and then with the dress because this is quite a simple dress to make all I want to do is just stick it so it's sort of in the middle like that now I've stuck it the other one down with gel medium as well and what I might do I might pop the little bits I've got some bits and pieces that I want to use are in here now I've got the the little pearly on the string here you can get this anywhere I think I probably got this from Aliexpress I've had it for a very very long time these are some little um, seam binding roses that I made I think I've got a tutorial on that now let me just give you a quick look how I did it now this is the seam binding okay and again you can use ribbon or whatever you like um, I hope you can see so what I did I just turned the end over and then you fold it in like that and you hold it like that and then you turn that over and as you turn round, turn it round just twist that around like that and twist it around and you end up this lovely little rose I believe I think I've got a video on this so there you go and then all as I did I sewed through it in the bottom um, so that's easy peasy if I've got if I find the video I'll make a link below so that was the little roses I've got a little bit of seam binding just for the corners I tried to get this ready so the video isn't too long now with some of the butterflies here I wanted to put some butterflies on it as well now I don't know whether you can see that but I um, printed them onto some vellum um, and I think they look a little bit more delicate which I think are absolutely beautiful so I wanted to use I just put that back these two little ones like that and I was going to put some on the dress so I will see and pop those over here so what I'm going to do is pop a little thing of roses on each corner I think I'll put the bigger one here so just pop that there and that there let me get some glue I'm just going to stick this down with my glue stick just like that this down 
let's wrinkle it up a little bit and I'm going to put the other one here again you can colour the the um, fabric you don't have to use cheesecloth use any fabric or even a um, little bit of different paper on there which you can wrinkle up now I've made six of these so I thought I'd just pop three on either side like that like that just to give it sort of like a little try to sort of like frame the dress in there if that's sort of even now I was going to just cut a little bit of this off and pop that on there so let's just see if that will work so I've just got one big bead and then five of the little ones so what I might do is stick one of these out I'm going to stick it down with this gel medium because it sticks really well stick two down just like that Oops. just stick it in and I'm just going to just sort of pop that in between if they will go and then just stick this one at the back like that just so it sort of holds it in so that looks all right doesn't it and then again on this side stick these on I don't know whether that's very level but we shall see they look level levelish I think then this just go there oops doesn't want to bend a little bit of glue on there stick that like that see if that will stay so that looks all right doesn't it can have a little fiddle about with it later here we go and now I'm going to pop these little butterflies one on either side just stick that there get my little this will do just to poke it down just so it sits there put that on there a little bit of glue why should we have you you can just go there if you'll stay perfect okay right so now what we would like to do is just pop the little dress on now i want it to go give it a shake get all the little bits off so i just wanted it to make sure it's sort of even i'm going to just pop a big blob on here and these two bits here now this sticks really really tight really really well just pop a little bit on there like that just stick that on okay I think that looks pretty level like that now you can either have that just hanging loose on there which I'm not sure or you can stick it down I think I might just have it hanging loose and see how it falls if it doesn't fall very well I can you can just sort of like stick little tiny bits down like that but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous 
Now what I was going to do, take those little bits off like that, is popped some little butterflies on the dress. Just in certain little places because I think they will look really pretty. Just sort of like two or three. Yeah, I've got a beautiful blue one there. And I think I need to have the purple. Let's have the other bigger one there. Just a couple of little butterflies. And I think that will look really pretty. So again, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this because I know it will stick to the cheesecloth. And then these ones you could actually stick it down from underneath these. Like that. Oops. Pop that one there. Now what should I do with those? Let's just pinch that down like that. Make sure it's stuck down okay. And that probably will hold the cheesecloth actually. And that looks so pretty. That one's not stuck down but I think once you hang it up, if you pop it, hang it on the wall, just see how it falls. Now if you don't have any cheesecloth, try and find some fabric that's quite soft, so it sort of like looks quite sort of shabby, um, and I think it will look really, really pretty. So that is all I'm going to do with, to this canvas. Um, I might go back and add some little bits of something here, maybe some stickles or something. Um, but I think that looks really, really nice. And once you've made the dress, I'm sure lots of you have got lots of dresses, um, sort of the origami, origami ones and the other dresses that we did. Um, so if you go and buy some cheap canvases, or you might have some, um, you could make up lots and lots. And I think they look beautiful on the wall and they're fabulous gifts as well. So there we go, guys. So that was very, very easy. Once you've got everything together, um, and you've already made your dresses um, you can make them into something that you can hang on the wall so there we go so now I have two beautiful canvases I hope you can see those let me just oops, wrong way. come out just a little bit there we are I will do um, a couple of close-up photos and I'll pop them onto my Instagram so you can see them a little bit better but I think that's a really really lovely project all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, um, and I will speak to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.